Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. We could buy it from a former student. We could also buy the used version. That is a great idea. I will give you the website to buy used books. Thank you so much. No problem at all. When are you going to register for classes? My registration date is next month. That is terrible. Yeah, it is very late. Mine is next week. Why is your date so early? I am a student athlete. Maybe I should play a sport. Soccer tryouts are tomorrow. I don't like soccer. Would you rather have a late registration date? I actually would. How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. There are too many full classes at this college. I never get the classes I need. Have you tried asking the professor for a spot? That doesn't work all the time. At this point, we will graduate in 10 years. That is so early. What are you talking about? I think we will graduate in 15 years. You are funny. Are you excited for the first day of school? No, I'm very afraid. What is to be afraid of? I am afraid of the teacher. But you haven't even met her yet. I have heard bad things about her. What bad things? I heard that she doesn't let anyone laugh. That is ridiculous. The older kids told me that. They are just trying to scare you. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I have never seen you before. I am a new student. Where are you from? I am from Japan. I love Japan. What do you love about it? I love the food, the culture, and the location. I could show you around someday. That would be so fun. But first, can you show me around here? It would be my pleasure. Let's start after school. Did you finish the math project? I have not started. But it's due tomorrow. I thought it was due next week. Do you even pay attention in class? I guess not. Do you know where to start? Not at all. I can help you. That would be awesome. I'll help you at my house tonight. I'll be there. Did you bring the pie chart for our presentation? You're going to be mad. What did you do? I forgot the pie chart. How could you forget? I am so sorry. Where is it? It is at home. Are your parents at home? My mom is at home. Ask her to drop it off. I will call her right now. I am doing poorly in my history class. What is your grade? I have an F. You need to do well on the final exam. I am planning to study. That did not work all the times before. What do you think I should do then? Look at the smart person's test answers. But that is cheating. What other choice do you have? I would rather fail the class than cheat. You're a good student. I have a book report. What book are you doing it on? I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. That is an excellent book. That is good to know. Do you have the book yet? I am planning to get it soon. You should borrow it from the library. What is the library? You have never heard of the library? I have never heard of it. At the library, you can borrow books for free. I'm planning to put gum in Miss Miller's hair. Why would you do such a thing? Because Miss Miller gives too much homework. She is so nice, though. I do not care. You might get suspended. What does that mean? It means you have to leave school for a while. That's the punishment? Yes. It is worse than detention. 
Suspension sounds like a vacation to me. Say that to your parents. I have five classes and 40 hours of work weekly. Your life is so stressful. Sadly, it is. I am only taking two classes. Do you have work? I am too lazy to work. Don't you want money, though? My parents are rich. My parents are poor. I'm sorry to hear that. They are poor, but honest, good people. Good for you. I am so hungry. I am hungry, too. How many more minutes until lunch? 30 more minutes. That is too long. I know. I hear your stomach growling. Do you have any food in your backpack? I have a bag of chips. Can I have some? Maybe next time. Wait, why not now? Because I'm going to eat the chips. Do you live in the dorms? Yes, I do. What do you like about it? I get to see my friends almost all the time. What else? I don't have to see my parents. How much does it cost to dorm? It is very expensive. Tell me exactly how much. You're going to faint after I tell you. Just tell me. It costs $15,000 per year. I wish I was a cheerleader. Why do you want to be one? Cheerleaders are popular. Popularity is not important. If you're popular, everyone knows you. I think you have been watching too many movies. No, I have not. You can be popular in other ways. What other ways? You could just be nice to people. That is so hard. This is why you are not popular. The lunch menu is so bad today. What is the cafeteria serving? Leftover meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. That is disgusting. I'm thinking of buying something from the vending machine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's wrong with the vending machine? It steals your money. Vending machines can't steal. Yesterday, I inserted a dollar and no food came out. I think I'll just go to the cafeteria. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts sounds good right now, right? I am so nervous for the class presentation. Don't be. You're so smart. I know, but I don't like big audience. Do you want my advice? Of course I do. Imagine the audience in their underwear. That is insane. It really works. Have you tried it? Yes. I got an A on my presentation. I'll try it then. You can do it. Tomorrow is show and tell. Yeah, I know. I am bringing my new purse for show and tell. Purses are boring. No, they're not. Well, I'm bringing my dog. You can't bring dogs to school. No one has to know until tomorrow. You are going to get into so much trouble. But I'll be the coolest kid in school. You won't be saying that in jail. I am not falling for that. Did you get a partner for the geometry project? I am still looking around. Do you want me to be your partner? I am sorry, but I do not. What is wrong with me? You're known as someone who is very lazy. That is so not true. Well, it's what I heard from our classmates. You can't always trust people. You do make a good point. Give me a chance and I won't let you down. Okay, I trust you. Mom, can you buy me a laptop? You are only 13. Everyone in school has one. They must be rich then. I really need it. What do you need it for? I want to bring it to school for homework. Aren't there computers at school? They are way too slow. Back in my day, there were no computers. I hate it when you say that. I hate it when you ask for things. Excuse me, aren't you in my math class? Yes, I think I am. Could I please borrow your notes? Sure, but please hurry with them. I will. I only want to look over them. We went over some of the new material yesterday. Was it very difficult? 
It was not too different from what we learned. Did the teacher mention the test? The test will be next week. Thank you for your help. Sure. Good luck studying. Excuse me, where can I find a dictionary? What kind of dictionary would you like? A bilingual dis dictionary would be nice. Well, there are many printed dictionaries. Is there one you'd recommend? Personally, I like the digital dictionaries. Do you sell those here? Yes. They're like mini computers. They are much more expensive, aren't they? Unfortunately, they can be expensive. I think I'll stick with the printed version. Either way, I'm sure it will be very useful. Give me your lunch money. Stop it, or you will be sorry. Are you arguing with me? I'm tired of you taking my money. I'm going to give you one last chance. Are you going to hit me? I'm going to hit you hard. I'll just tell the principal. You are lying. Just hit me now, and you'll see I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I really like your shoes. Thank you. Where did you buy them? I bought them at a store in the mall. Were they very expensive? They were around $40. They look very comfortable. They are extremely comfortable. Do they come in many other colors? I saw several different ones when I bought them. Maybe I'll buy myself a pair. They are definitely worth the money. Are you interested in buying this bike? That thing? I don't think so. I assure you, it is a wonderful sale. It looks rusted. That can be fixed with a light coat of paint. The chain looks old. Just oil it a little, and it will be good as new. The seat is uncomfortable. All great bikes have high seats like this. Well, how much are you asking for it? For this fantastic find, only $140. No way. If it is so valuable, sell it to the museum. Excuse me, I'd like your opinion on something. Of course, sir. How may I help you? I want to buy my wife a new scarf. That is very thoughtful of you. Her favorite color is blue, so I chose blue scarves. What do you need me to do? Well, I was wondering which scarf was the prettiest. I see. Well, this one seems a little too dark. What about this one? Maybe something with a nicer pattern. Is this one all right? That one is perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. Where are you going? I'm going to buy some flowers for Valentine's Day. Who are the flowers for? My mom, my sister, and my girlfriend. Wow, you are very thoughtful. I don't really know which flowers to buy, though. Well, for your girlfriend, something romantic. Red roses, of course. For your mother, something that smells nice. Carnations. She loves carnations. And for your sister? I'll buy her some pink roses. Thanks for your help. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. I'm thinking of buying a bicycle. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, it would help me beat the car traffic. It would also save you a lot on gas money. I'm kind of scared, though. Scared of what? I don't want to fall. As long as you practice, you should be fine. Yes, but I could also get hit by a car. I think you will be okay. Just make sure to buy a helmet, too. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved $200. Wow, I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online too? You probably could. 
They have everything online nowadays. That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. I want to buy this, but $40 is too expensive. It is a high quality item and worth every penny. It looks a little bit dirty. It is just dusty from being on the shelf. If no one has bought it, it can't be so valuable. It is my last one because I am almost sold out. I'll buy it if you cut the price in half. That is too cheap. I'll make no money. This product is cheap quality. I'll lose money. I'll give it to you for $35. Make it $30 and you've got a deal. All right, $30 sounds fine. Can you help me? Maybe I can. I need this dress in a size 8. If it's not on the rack, we don't have it. Can you just check for me? We don't have that dress in a size 8. But you didn't even check. Look, I'm really tired. I think you mean lazy. Can you ask another employee? I want to talk to your manager. No, I'll go find the dress. Does this hat match my suit? Well, it's the same color. That's good enough for me. Are you going to a dinner party? No, I'm going to a job interview. Then maybe you should wear a tie. That's a good idea. Also, I would not wear the hat if I were you. Why not? It matches well. You look like a mobster from the movies. Don't hats make you look more professional? Only if you're applying to be a hitman. I want to buy my son a skateboard. Do you know what kind of board he'd like? I was thinking a basic board. There are many different kinds. Is there one that is safer than the others? Not really. You should buy safety equipment. What should I buy? A helmet, some elbow pads, and some knee pads. Can I also have some wrist guards? Certainly. You may choose any color you'd like. I came for a skateboard and left with the whole store. Well, safety always comes first. I am so hungry. Me too. My stomach is growling. Are there any good places nearby? Do you want to go to the restaurant across the street? Oh no, that place is so dirty. I heard the food was good. The food is good, but not the place itself. What's so dirty about it? The staff only cleans the tables once a day. Wow, that is crazy. Anything else? The bowls and plates are not washed well. Let's not go there anymore. Do you want to meet up for lunch? Sure. Where are we going? It depends. Are you a picky eater? Not at all. I like most anything. What about spicy food? That's my favorite kind. Mine too. I know a place with very spicy hot wings. Then we should go there. However, it is a little bit far. That's fine. I really want to try these wings. Okay, then I'll send you the address. See you there. Have you ever been to that popular hot dog stand? No, I have not. My friends said the hot dogs are really great. The line is always really long. I say we wait for them. They're just hot dogs. My friends said everyone should try it at least once. Do you always listen to your friends? No. But their opinions matter. My opinion is forget the hot dogs. Fine. I'm going to eat one in front of you. You won't ever reach the front of the line. Would you like to try our new item for free? If it's free, then of course. Great. Here it is. What is it? It's a smoothie made from chicken and beef. That is absolutely disgusting. You didn't even try it yet. I already know it's going to taste bad. Please try it. You might love it. I'll just have a slice of pizza. I will get that for you. Thanks, and take back the smoothie. May I have a table for three? Of course. Here is your number. About how long will it take you to call this number? About one hour. Wow, that is really a long time. I apologize for the long wait. 
Does the line go all the way outside? Yes. I apologize again. Why can't the customers wait inside? It's freezing. There are already too many people inside. Forget it. I'm leaving. Please give us another chance. Welcome to Sarah's Sandwiches. Hi. I don't know where to start. Let's start with the bread. I want something healthy and tasty. I recommend the sweet grain bread. Okay. Thank you. What kind of meat do you recommend? Turkey would be good for you. Okay. I'll get that. I'll also add tomatoes, lettuce, onions, and cucumber. Thanks for helping me create a healthy sandwich. It is my pleasure. I am going to get the spaghetti. I don't know what to get. Just pick whatever looks good. This is so hard. Why don't you get the pizza? It's too expensive. How about the hamburger? It's too fattening. How about the burrito? I hate Mexican food. You are way too picky. I'm just going to get water. Hi, sir. What can I get you today? I'll have one glass of iced tea. I'm sorry, but we are out of iced tea. How can you be out of iced tea? We didn't get all of the ingredients. Iced tea is all I want. Sir, we have plenty of other drinks. I guess lemonade would be okay. Lemonade, coming right up. Wait, you should give me a discount. I will give you a 15% discount. Good. This restaurant is doing something right today. Have you been to this restaurant before? Yes. The last time I came here was two years ago. Does it still look the same? It looks nicer now. The paintings are amazing. Does the food taste the same? Yes. Their crab cakes taste great, as always. I am allergic to crab. That's too bad. It's okay. The chicken sandwich was just great. I am allergic to chicken. What aren't you allergic to? All the stuff that tastes bad. This chicken is so plain. I agree with you. Should we send it back? No, I don't want to give the waiter any trouble. Should we just leave this restaurant then? No, we already got here. What in the world do we do then? I know. Let's add chili sauce and lemon. What a great idea. Okay, here I go. Well, how does it taste? It tastes so much better. I am going to get the meatloaf. Get anything but the meatloaf. What's wrong with the meatloaf? I got food poisoning when I ordered meatloaf here. Thanks for telling me. No problem. I'm going to get the egg rolls. I'm still going to get the meatloaf. Did you not hear what I said? I did, but I'll take the risk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry. I won't. Have fun throwing up later. I want to get pancakes. Are you crazy? It's 8 p.m. Does it matter? It's dinner time. I know, but I really like breakfast food. Why don't you just wait for tomorrow morning? I'm too impatient. I'm going to get actual dinner food. Sure, go ahead. You know, they might not have pancakes right now. I would go to another restaurant then. You really like pancakes. I don't like pancakes. I love them. Do you want to eat something really good? Yeah, of course. There's this incredible Italian restaurant. Okay, let's go now. We'll get there in four hours. Are you joking? The restaurant is in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're not going all the way there for food. Why not? It will be fun. There are a lot of Italian restaurants here. But they're not as good. Fine. We can go tomorrow. Excuse me, miss. Yes? What can I do for you? This bill is incorrect. It is indeed correct. I thought this plate of noodles was $10. You, read, you misread it. It is $100, not $10. Why is it so expensive? There are rare ingredients in it. What exactly are these rare ingredients? Caviar, lobster, and a special type of mushroom. I am not paying for this. 
You already ate it, so you must pay for it. I have a problem. What is wrong? I don't know how to use chopsticks. That's too bad. Doesn't this restaurant have spoons and forks? No, this place is really traditional. How can I eat my noodles then? You can use your hands. I am not a wild animal. You can learn how to use chopsticks. It's too hard. It's not. I'll teach you. Do you want to go to a buffet? What is a buffet? It's a restaurant where you can eat as much as you want. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it is. You'll be full when you leave. What kind of food is there? There is sushi, noodles, dumplings, and a whole lot more. How much is it? It's $15 per person. That's a reasonable price. I can't wait to go there. That was a delicious dinner. The waitress was bad, though. Don't be mean. She dropped soup on my dress. She did not drop it on purpose. She also took forever to bring out the food. Maybe she is a new employee. I am not giving her a tip. Oh, come on. At least give her a small one. I'm not even going to put a penny. Fine. I'll put a tip. You are way too nice. What did you think about the waiter? He was nice. We should give him a 40% tip. That's too much. You said he was nice. He was nice, but he wasn't excellent. Can we at least give him a 35% tip? Why do you want to tip this guy so well? He is my friend from school. Oh, I see. He's the only one who works in his family. Fine, we will give him a good tip. Is it me or does this water taste weird? It tastes weird. I'm glad it's not just me. It tastes sweet. I think the staff didn't wash the glasses. The customers before us probably ordered soda. That's why it's so sweet. Yeah, it's water mixed with soda. We are drinking someone's saliva? Gross. We should complain. We should ask for a free drink. I agree with you. Hi, sir. I have seen you a lot. I come to this restaurant twice a week. May I ask why? I really like the food and the environment here. I'm pleased to hear that. Anytime. Anyways, I'll have my usual order. Don't you ever want to try something new? No, I really like the ham sandwich. I recommend the omelet. I'll try it if you give me a discount. Because you're a faithful customer, I will. Thanks for the good service. Wow, I'm the only one in this restaurant. Well, it is 1 a.m. Why doesn't this restaurant close earlier? It's trying to make more money. That's pretty smart. Just curious, why are you here at this time? I couldn't sleep. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, it's just a one-time thing. I see. What would you like to order? I'll have an egg and two bacon strips. You'll have it very soon. There are no other customers here. I am so thirsty. Sorry, I don't have water. Is there a restaurant nearby? Yeah, there's one two blocks down. Let's go there. I thought you wanted water, not food. I still do want water. Then why are we going to a restaurant? We're going to get water for free and then leave. That is so rude. Yeah, but we save money. You're so cheap. I think I'm going to head home. Already? It's only midday. I think I have a fever. That's terrible. Does your head hurt? Yes, it's killing me. You should go home if you're not feeling well. I'm going to tell the boss that I'm leaving early. I'm sure he will understand. On the way home, I'll pick up some soup. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. I will. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Ow, that really hurts. Are you all right? What happened? I accidentally cut myself. Is it very deep? I don't think so, but it hurts a lot. You should disinfect it. I don't have anything with me. Here, use this ointment. Do you 
always carry that with you? Yes, along with some bandages. That's a very good idea. Perhaps you should do the same. I think David is running a fever. What should we do? His parents are not here. I don't want to give him anything he shouldn't take. How do we know what dose is all right for him? We should call the local pharmacy. Can they help us? They're not doctors. I'm sure they can. It's worth a try. What's the number? It's here on this receipt. Thank you. Can you call his parents? What should I say? We need to let him know. He is feeling sick. How are you feeling? A little better, but it is still hard to talk. What did the doctor say the problem was? It's called mononucleosis. Isn't that the kissing disease? There are other ways to get it besides kissing. Oh yeah, name a few. Sharing drinks and food also spreads the disease. Really, I share drinks with my friends all the time. Yeah, so did I. Well, I won't share with you again. That's for sure. I won't share with anyone ever again. Why are you wearing a face mask? I don't want to catch anything. You won't get sick from breathing fresh air. There are germs floating everywhere. It is still unlikely that you will get sick. Why do you say that? Most of the time, we get sick from germs on our hands. You're kidding, right? Nope. We touch a lot of dirty things every day. I need some hand sanitizer. I didn't mean for you to become paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I just want to be healthy. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello, this is John. My child swallowed something. Is your child breathing all right? Yes, but he is complaining of chest pains. Do you know what it is he swallowed? It was a coin. I think it was a nickel. How old is your son? He's five years old. Please give me your address, and we will send paramedics. Should I hang up after that? No. Please stay on the line in case something changes. All right. Thank you. Hello, nine one one. I need an ambulance. What's the situation? My friend fell off her bike and hit her head. Is she unconscious? No, but she is bleeding a lot. Please tell me your location. We are near the community college. Please don't let her stand. Do you have her ID? Yes, I also found her insurance card. Good. You will need those at the hospital. She is beginning to feel less dizzy. Good. Just sit tight. The ambulance will be there soon. Hey, what's that you're eating? It's steamed rice cake. My grandma made it. Does it taste good? It's delicious. I think it's my favorite dessert. I think I'll stick to jelly donuts. Do you want one? No thanks. If you eat too many of those, you'll get fat. All pastries make you fat. That's true, but the ones with sugar are the worst. Sugar makes them taste good. Try this rice cake. It has a little sugar. I guess that is pretty good. It is, and it's healthier than donuts too. How many cups of coffee have you had today? I don't know. Three, maybe. Don't you think it's a little too much? No way. Coffee is good for you. Too much of anything is bad for you. What about water? Sure, people drown all the time. Well, I'd happily drown in coffee. Did you know coffee stains your teeth brown? Does it really? Yes, your teeth will rot if you drink too much. I'd better stop then. Girls like nice white smiles. Hey, where were you all afternoon? I was working out at the health club. 
You went to the gym? It's more than just a gym. All you do is lift weights, right? No, there's also swimming, sports, and even dancing. They have dancing at a health club? Of course. It's good for your coordination. I've heard that it's also good for toning your muscles. You should join me sometime. Maybe if I work out, I'll look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think you look more like Danny DeVito. Ah, I've got a cramp in my foot. Stop swimming and roll onto your back. It really hurts. It will stop hurting if you rest a little. Why did you tell me to roll on my back? It's easier if you just flow until the pain stops. It hurts even more if I don't move my foot. At least your face is not in the water. I think the cramp went away. Can you move your foot now? Yes. Thanks for your quick thinking. No problem. Let's get to the shallow water. So hot. Let's go swimming now. We have to wait a while before swimming. But why? The sun is so hot. It's bad to swim after you just ate. Why? Will you sink in the water? No. The motion and sudden cold will make you sick. What kind of sick? It can make you nauseated and you might throw up. How long do we know do we have to wait? Only about half an hour. Half an hour? I'll bake in the sun. It's better than throwing up your lunch. Why are you limping around like that? I signed up for the new yoga class. Did they make you do all those weird positions? Yes, some of those stretches hurt. I'm not flexible enough for yoga. I don't think I am either. Why did you sign up for it? I heard it's good for your body. I heard mostly women take that class. Well, there's that too. This is a punishment for your bad intentions. Maybe. Either way, I don't deserve this. That's a funny looking outfit. It's a professional running suit. Why are you wearing it? I'm training for the marathon. I didn't know you liked running. I'm just trying to lose weight. Well, this is a good way to do it. The marathon is also a fundraiser. Maybe I'll sponsor you. Why don't you just run instead? Are you calling me fat? I just thought both sides would benefit that way. You look troubled. I feel terrible. What's the problem? I went hiking in the mountains last week. Isn't that supposed to relax you? Yes, but I wore shorts instead of pants. So, it's hot there. I was eaten alive by mosquitoes and ticks. Deer ticks are really dangerous. I know. I had to go to the doctor. Be more mindful next time. Trust me, I will. I hate deer ticks. I'm so tired today. Did you stay up late watching TV again? No. I tried to sleep at 11 p.m. And you couldn't fall asleep? No, I lay in bed until 3 a.m. Isn't that the time you usually fall asleep? I suppose it is, actually. Your body is too used to going to sleep really late. What should I do? I'm tired. Try to tire yourself out and sleep early today. Tonight is the season finale, though. You're hopeless. I have so many split ends. How do you brush your hair? The same way everyone else does. I don't think so. You're supposed to use a brush. A comb isn't that different from a brush. Combs tear long hair and cause split ends. Really? All this time I blamed my shampoo. Well, good shampoo helps to repair it. What should I do? Always brush it before you comb it then maybe I won't look like a broom. It takes hard work to have nice hair. My hair isn't soft and shiny anymore. Maybe you should do a hair treatment. 
Hair products are expensive, though. You can use certain foods to do it, too. Really? Which ones? I heard that avocado is really good for your hair. Oh, gross! I don't want to smell like mayonnaise. Well, other people use avocado. Great! I could either be a sandwich or a salad. You could always use baby oil and shampoo. Now that sounds more pleasant. If you say so, I don't mind using avocado. Why are you using crutches? Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. What happened? I sprained my ankle yesterday. What were you doing? It's kind of a secret. Why is it a secret? I'm a spy, and if I tell you, I'll get in trouble. Do you really expect me to believe that? All right. I'll be serious this time. Good. What really happened? I got hurt during my ninja training. Can I borrow your class notes? Sure, but didn't you take any down? I couldn't really see the board. Do you sit too far away? I think I just need new glasses. You should be careful. It could be serious. What do you mean? You could have a concussion. Or worms could be eating my eyes. Maybe you're a robot and your batteries are dying. I'm pretty sure I just need new glasses. Even so, you should probably buy some batteries. Your son is so healthy. He is already very concerned with fitness. That is so wonderful. He likes to eat healthy and exercise every day. My son likes chocolate and video games. That is not good for him at all. I don't know what to do with him. Make him some fun snacks for school. I gave him a carrot stick once. That's a good snack. Later, he admitted that he gave it to the school rabbit. Well, at least the rabbit eats its vegetables. Do you know where I could get a back massage? What's wrong with your back? It hurts a lot when I sit for too long. A masseuse will not help you with that pain. What do you suggest I do? I think you should go to the chiropractor. What does he do? He adjusts the alignment of your back. Does this help with the pain? It usually does. Where can I find one? Look one up online. I'm sure you'll find one near you. Can you help me get up the stairs, please? Of course. What happened to your leg? I broke it a week ago. How did that happen? I was playing basketball and fell. Ouch! Did someone push you? No, I just jumped and landed wrong. I broke my leg once, too. How did it happen to you? A boy pushed me down a hill and I landed on my leg. That sounds like a mean kid. Yes, but I kicked him with the cast. You lost a lot of weight. Yes, thank you for noticing. You look great. How did you do it? I started eating a lot healthier. That's too hard for me to do. I also exercise four times a week. Oh, I don't have time for that. It can be hard to find time. However, it is worth it. I'm thinking of just trying some new diet pills. I suggest you try to do it naturally. I can help you if you want. That'd be great. Public restrooms gross me out. They're not always bad. Even when they look clean, there are germs everywhere. That's because so many people don't wash their hands. That makes me so angry. Me too. Washing hands is a simple thing to do. I think everyone is just too lazy to do it. It's very rude of them. I agree. Even five-year-olds know better than not to wash their hands. But there's not much we can do about it. Now that I have my first job, I need a bank account. What kind of bank account are you going to open? There are different types of bank accounts. You can open a checking account. That means I'll have checks to pay bills, right? Yes, and you'll get a debit card you can use, too. That's different from a credit card, right? Yes, a debit card takes money directly from your bank account. So what is a savings account? That's a low-interest earning account meant for you to save money. So that's not for everyday spending? No, that's to save up for your retirement. 
I'd like to open a checking account. We would love to have you as our customer. What documents do you need from me? Do you have state issued identification? Is my driver's license okay? That's perfect. I also need your social security number. Is there a minimum balance requirement? Our basic checking account has a $25 minimum balance per month. I can keep that in my account? I also need proof of address. Can I show you my gas bill? Yes. Now I need you to sign some papers. I would like to order some checks. Since you only have our basic checking account, it will cost you. I don't need that many checks. One box of checks is $15. Can I choose what my checks will look like? Yes, we have many different designs to choose from. I would like kittens on my checks. The kitten checks cost $18 per box. That is a small price to pay for cuteness. We can deduct that amount directly from your checking account. How long till I receive my checks? The checks take approximately two weeks to arrive. I'd like to deposit my paycheck. Do you have an account here? I have a checking account. You need to fill out a deposit slip. Where can I find those? There are deposit slips on the tables throughout the branch. What information do I put on the deposit slip? You need to put the name on the account, the account number, and the amount of the deposit. How long till I can access the money? You can access it immediately. Can I only take a deposit with a teller? No, you can also use an ATM or even your cell phone. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Will that be from your checking or savings account? I don't have a savings account. Then it will be from your checking account. I'd like to take out $200. Do you have a withdrawal form? Where can I get one of those? They are located right behind you on the table. What do I need to write on the form? You need to write the name on the account, the account number, and how much you want to take out. Is that all? I also need photo identification. What is this returned check fee on my statement? It means you bounced a check. What does that mean? It means you wrote a check but you didn't have enough money in your account to cover it. So my landlord never got paid? No, and the bank charged you a fee. So what do I do now? Do you have enough money to pay your rent? I do, but I think I'm going to pay in cash. Your landlord may also charge you a fee for bouncing the check. I need to be more careful about my spending. Bouncing a check ends up costing you more money. I'd like to transfer some money. Between what two accounts would you like to transfer the money? I'd like to transfer $100 from my savings account to my checking account. All right. You just need to fill out this slip of paper. What information do I need to write down? You need to write both account numbers and how much you are transferring. Is the money available immediately? It is. Could you please show me identification? Is there a limit to how many transfers I can make? You can make up to 25 free transfers in a year. What happens if I want to make more? There is a fee for making more transfers. I would like to cash this check. Did you endorse the check? What does endorse mean? It means you need to sign the back of the check. I will do that right now. Can I have your account number and identification, please? Oh, I don't have an account here. Then there will be a $10 fee to cash the check. Do I have to pay that fee? An alternative would be to open an account here. I already have a checking account at another bank. Then you should cash your check there. I need to stop payment on a check that I wrote. Do you have a copy of the check you wrote? Yes, I was able to get a digital copy online. Why are you stopping payment on this check? I paid my landlord already. So you don't want him to get paid twice? I don't have the money to pay him twice. We can only stop payment if the check hasn't cashed already. Is there a fee to stop the payment? Yes, there is a $10 fee. That's better than paying my rent twice. I suppose it is. Why do I have a negative balance on my checking account? This means you used more money than you actually had in your account. So, what do I do now? 
The negative amount is how much you owe the bank. Am I going to be hit with an extra fee? The bank will charge you a $35 overdraft fee. How long do I have to pay the negative amount back? You should do it as soon as possible, or else the bank can charge you more money. What happens if I don't pay it back? The bank can close your account and send the balance to collectors. That's not good for my credit. No, it's not. You better get it taken care of. I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today then. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35, a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. Does anyone offer free checking anymore? It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did, but I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? Since I'm not tech-savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. The charges you contest will be frozen. I'd like to open another account. That's great. 
What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So, would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one time $10 service fee. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan, and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again. Did you hear about the community college? No, what about it? It's offering summer courses. I'm too old to go back to school. Those kind of courses are not the ones I'm talking about. What are you so excited for then? They're offering music lessons. That sounds interesting. What kind? They teach almost every instrument there is. Wow, I've always wanted to play the guitar. Do you really think you can with such fat fingers? I'll just use a very large guitar. My computer won't turn on. Did you charge the battery? Yes, I charged it all night. Have you dropped it recently? No, I've never dropped it. Maybe it has a virus. You mean maybe it's sick? No, you may have downloaded spyware. Do you think I need a new computer? Probably, and some spyware protection too. I bet it was the government spying on me. I really doubt you're worth spying on. This is the hottest summer ever. I bet you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. There has to be some way to cool off. Let's go to the mall. It's air conditioned. I bet the whole city will be there. Then let's watch TV at our house. That sounds boring. There's nothing good on TV. What do you want to do then? Let's go to the pool to swim. I think I'll pass. Why don't you want to go? If the sidewalk can fry an egg, the water will boil us. David did not come to work again today. He must be very sick to be absent the whole week. My sister made him some soup yesterday. Soup is very good for sick people to eat. Apparently, it wasn't good enough. What else does one do for a sick person? I'm going to send him a get well card. That is very nice of you. Maybe I'll get the whole office to sign it. Good idea, but I suggest you mail it to him. Why can't I take it to him? If you catch his cold, it will mean more work for us. My house is much too stuffy nowadays. It's the hot weather. I bought an air conditioner, but it doesn't help at night. I heard it's bad to leave it on at night. Why can't I leave it on at night? It causes you to catch cold. I bought a fan, but it makes too much noise. Why don't you install a ceiling fan? Are they quiet? Yes, and inexpensive too. Is it easy to install? Yes, if they weren't, they'd fall on people all the time. Did you feel the earthquake last night? Yes, the whole house was shaking. I was afraid the windows would shatter. A lot of my collectibles fell off their shelves. Did they break? Unfortunately, some of them can be fixed, though. My cat was outside when the earthquake started. Oh, no. That's terrible. Is she okay? She's fine. Animals have good natural instincts. I wish people could predict earthquakes, too. I think it would just make people panic more easily. You're right. Maybe it's best to leave it to the cats. 
Are you wearing those shoes with your suit? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Well, they are very dirty and scuffed up. They're the only ones I have. Your shoes are fine, but you should shine them. Do I have to? It would make a good impression. How does being shiny make a good impression? Your employer will think you are very neat. Is that important? A neat person is more likely to be hired. Unless they're late for work from shining their shoes. Do you have a chainsaw? Yes, but why do you need it? I want to cut down the tree in my yard. What's wrong with it? It's a beautiful tree. It drops too many leaves. There are squirrels in that tree. The roots messed up my water system. The neighborhood children love climbing it. Birds land on it and poop on my car. People love the romantic and cooling shade it gives. I suppose the tree does have some good points. If you see the good, the bad won't seem so bad. You didn't answer your phone last night. The phone company cut my wireless. Why? Did you pay your phone bill? I refused to pay the last one. Why didn't you want to pay it? It was much too high. Did you make many long distance calls? I thought it was free to call others' cell phones. Only if they're from the same provider. Oops, that was my fault. You'd better call the company and apologize for this mess. Can I use your phone? Mine is still dead. Did you watch that show on TV last night? Do you mean the one about the zombies? Yes. Isn't it a great show? I didn't watch the whole episode. Why not? Didn't you like it? I did, but my son didn't. He is too young to be watching that show. I know. I didn't mean to let him watch it. How did he see it then? He snuck into the living room after his bedtime. Children are so crafty in getting what they want. Tell me about it. My son is like James Bond. It's been very sunny lately, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Some rain would be very nice. I don't think it will rain for quite some time. Maybe we can do a rain dance and summon rain. Do you be really believe in that? No, but who knows? Maybe it does work. I don't see how dancing around would bring rain. Well, it would be pretty funny looking. The rain gods would laugh at us. Maybe they'll laugh so hard they'll cry. I don't think I want tears as rain. Me neither. I suddenly don't mind the sunny weather. Can I have your phone number? What do you want it for? I got a new phone and all my contacts were deleted. You never called me anyway. What if there's an emergency? You won't need me in an emergency. Why don't you want to give me your number? I don't like giving my phone number to people. All right. Can I have your email address? Quit trying to stalk me. I was only trying to be friendly. Well, stop trying. You're not getting my email either. Do you have any pets? Yes. I have two fishes. That's it? Why don't you get more pets? I'm allergic to fur. That's terrible. I love cats and dogs. Do you own any? I have two cats and three dogs. Wow, that's a lot of animals. I know, but I love them so much. I wish I could own a cat someday. You're not happy with your fishes? Not really. I can't even pet them. Maybe you could get a snake. I'm not that desperate. Let's plan a vacation. Yes, I want to go somewhere warm. I was thinking of going somewhere cold and fresh. But I want to spend time on beaches. We always go to beaches. That's because they are always fun. Let's try something different. Where do you want to go? We could visit Alaska. But I don't even like the cold. Come on, the views look beautiful. Fine, but I get to plan our vacation next time. 
Have you ever flown on an airplane? Yes, I've flown in planes many times. Were you scared? The first time I was a little bit scared. But it went away after that? Yes, after the first takeoff, it was very simple and enjoyable. I've never gotten on a plane before. You have never flown in planes? Nope. I'm going to fly for the first time tomorrow. You'll love it. Don't you have first class tickets? No, they're coach tickets. Just take earplugs in case there are babies on board. I can't wait for spring to come. What is so special about the spring? The weather is warm in the spring. It is also warm in the summer. There are mosquitoes in the summer. There are no mosquitoes in the fall. But fall isn't warm like summer is. And winter is even colder. That's why I think spring is the perfect season. I think I prefer the summer. What about the mosquitoes? I'll wear bug repellent. I won't be in town this weekend. Neither will I. I'm going on a camping trip. What are you doing? I will be visiting my grandma. I think camping will be more fun. Why don't you take me with you? I don't think your parents will allow it. You are probably right. I want to go. I'll bring you back a souvenir. I don't want it. I want to go too. You can't always get what you want. I hope you get eaten by a bear. Mom, are there animals in the forest? Yes, there are many different kinds. Then why haven't we seen any? They are probably hiding. Why are they hiding? Animals are afraid of people. Maybe if we hold still, they will come out. Why is that? They will think we are trees. I think they will know we're not trees. Can we try it and see? No, dear. Let's keep walking. I would like to have a garden. Planting a garden is a lot of work. But then you grow beautiful flowers. Plastic flowers don't die, and they are also beautiful. Plastic flowers don't have a scent. You can spray them with perfume. Perfume doesn't really smell like flowers. It does if you buy the right kind. It is expensive to buy perfume and plastic flowers. I suppose you are right. Will you help me plant my garden? I don't think I have any other choice. Why are you spraying pesticides? To kill the insects in the garden. Not all insects are bad. They are ruining my vegetables. You should buy the right kind of poison. What do you mean? Some poisons kill bees. That's all right. Bees sting people. Without bees, your garden will not have fruit. Why is that? Bees pollinate the flowers so fruit can grow. Help me pick out a pesticide that is safe for bees. Have you ever heard of poison ivy? Isn't that a supervillain? I wouldn't know. Tell me more. I once read about poison ivy in a comic book. Oh no, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what did you mean? I was talking about the plant. Is it the one that makes you itch? Yes, I fell into a patch of it. Did you wash it off? Yes, but it still itches. The poison ivy I think of is better than the poison ivy. I want to take off my shirt. Why would you want to do that? My shoulders hurt from yesterday. What happened yesterday? I went to the beach. Are you sore from swimming? No, I didn't go swimming. Then what happened? I fell asleep without a shirt on. Then you must have bad sunburn. I do. My shirt makes it worse. It's too bad we're in school. Aren't waterfalls beautiful? I think they're terrifying. Why do they scare you? People fall off them all the time. Do they live? Of course not. 
As long as you don't swim in them, you're safe. They are still dangerous. People are the ones who make the danger. I suppose you're right. Do you still think they're terrifying? A little, but they're beautiful too. The forecast said it would rain tomorrow. Why do you sound so excited? We have a big PE test tomorrow. I didn't know that. We have to run 10 kilometers. I think that is next week. Then what are we doing tomorrow? I think we will be playing street hockey. Hockey is my favorite sport. Too bad it may rain. I hope it doesn't rain after all. You've changed your mind very quickly. Does it snow in your hometown? Sometimes, when it's very cold. I've never seen snow. What is it like? Sometimes it's white, fluffy, and looks like clouds. That sounds so romantic. Other times, it is wet and slushy. Can you use it to make snowballs? Only the fluffy snow. Why not the slushy snow? Those snowballs would hurt. I thought that all snowballs hurt. No, if you use freshly fallen snow. That cloud looks like a horse. No, it doesn't. It looks like a cloud. You're supposed to use your imagination. It still looks like a cloud. Try to see another shape in it. All right, let's look at a different cloud. I think that one looks like a hippo. I don't see a hippo. What do you see then? I see a cloud. I told you to use your imagination. In that case, I see a cotton ball. Which is the lighting and which is the thunder? Lightning lights up the sky. What about the thunder? Thunder makes the big booming noise. I thought they both made noise. No, only thunder makes noise. Can people be hit by thunder? No, people can only be hit by lightning. Do you think they get magical powers? That is impossible. Such things happen in movies all the time. You watch too much television. Put the rock back where you found it. But I like the rock, Mommy. So do the animals that live here. The animals have many rocks. I just want one. But animals need the rocks, and you don't. What do they need them for? Some animals make their homes with rocks. Very small animals? Yes. You might be taking someone's ceiling. I don't want to ruin their homes. Good. Please put it back. I'll go leave it where I found it. What was that sound? What sound? It sounded like a whistle. I didn't hear anything. The sound came from you. I admitted I made the sound. How did you do that? I made a whistle with a blade of grass. Teach me how to do it. Why do you want to learn? I want to surprise my sister when I get home. You're a mean older sister. I think I stepped on a snail. Did you feel something crunch under your shoes? Yes, it feels disgusting. Clean your shoes on the grass. There are snails everywhere. They like to eat the plants here. Do they make holes in the leaves? Yes, they make a lot of holes in the leaves. If they were faster, maybe they could hunt for food. What could they hunt? They have no teeth. Neither does my grandma. Your grandma is not a snail. I wish I were a bird. I think being a cat would be better. But birds can fly. Well, cats can climb. Birds fly higher than any cats can climb. And yet, cats eat birds all the time. That's only when the bird is sleeping. You just don't want to admit cats are better. I know why you want to be a cat. Why do I want to be a cat? Cats sleep all day, and so do you. 
At least cats can sleep without being eaten. Do you think wolves are like dogs? No way. Wolves are vicious. A man on TV lived with wolves for many years. Didn't they eat him? No, he is still alive and he loves wolves. That is so amazing. Maybe people have the wrong idea about them. Probably. They're always bad in children's books. I've never heard of a wolf eating a person in the real life. Neither have I. I think I like wolves. I still don't think they're like dogs, though. Don't ride your bike unless you're wearing a helmet. I don't like helmets. They mess up my hair. It's better to mess up your hair than to mess up your head. I won't fall. I'm a good bike rider. Accidents happen very easily. I've never fallen before. There's a first time for everything. I'll be very careful. If it wasn't so dangerous, there wouldn't be a helmet law. What is the helmet law? Children have to wear helmets until they're 18. I suppose wearing a helmet won't be too bad then. Did you fasten your seatbelt? It bothers my neck. Just adjust the strap so it doesn't bother you. The sun makes it too hot. Stop making excuses and put it on. I don't like wearing it. Most of the people who die in car accidents don't wear them. I trust you not to crash the car. I don't trust the other drivers not to crash into me. That'll be fine. If you don't wear it, I won't drive you anywhere. Fine, I'll put it on. I don't like walking in the dark. The city is so creepy at night. I always feel like anyone can pop out of somewhere. I'm afraid of bugs. They're probably all around. Maybe it's a good idea to carry a flashlight. I have one in my backpack. I feel so much better with the light on. Now we can see where we are going. It's easier to keep us from getting lost, too. I'm still afraid of bugs, though. I think they'll stay away from the light. I'm putting a flashlight in my backpack, too. My dad bought me a can of pepper spray. Isn't that what police use on bad guys? Yes, it's supposed to sting your eyes. Why did you get such a thing? I feel safer walking at night with it. Aren't you afraid you'll use it wrong? No, it's pretty easy to spray. What if it gets into your eyes and not a bad guy? Well, it's important to never spray against the wind. Oh, I see. Then it won't spray into your face? Exactly. It's a pretty handy tool. I feel a lot safer carrying it, too. Are you taking karate classes? Yes, I started last week. That's so cool. It's a lot of hard work. Are you training to be like Bruce Lee? No, I'm just learning some self-defense. Oh, you mean like blocking hits and stuff. Yes, I want to be able to defend myself. That's pretty impressive. I've learned a few skills already. Remind me to never mess with you. Don't worry. I'd only use my skills when necessary. Be careful how you peel those potatoes. What's so hard about peeling potatoes? You're holding the knife wrong. What do you mean? When you pull the knife towards you, it's easy to cut yourself. How should I peel them then? Face the blade away from you. This feels a lot easier. It's harder to cut yourself. Could I have gotten very hurt? Well, it would have hurt quite a bit. I won't be so careless next time. I saw a scary article online today. What was it about? It was about people sleeping with their cell phones. I do that sometimes. Why do you want to do that? It's easier to hear the alarm that way. Make sure your phone doesn't overheat. What do you mean? In the article, the phones heated up and exploded. What happened to the owners? They got hurt sometimes. You should be more careful. I will. I'll leave it on the night table from now on. Don't be too distracted at the ATM. I was just checking a text message. People could see your account information. I don't think that can happen. If they're watching, they can also learn your PIN number. I suppose you're right about that. Just be attentive for a few minutes. I'd rather miss a text than have money stolen from me. Exactly. 
Make sure you finish the transaction first. Thanks for all the advice. No problem. You're a really good friend. Don't read that text message now. Why not? We're in the middle of traffic. It doesn't matter, but it is against the law. No one will see me do it. If you get used to it, you may casually check it later. I'm sure nothing will happen if I do that. One day, you may check it at the wrong time. Stop saying things like that. I'm just trying to make you see the danger in it. What should I do then? It's an important message. Give me your phone and I'll read it to you. They should make a car app to read your text messages. I don't like seeing so many police officers patrolling. They're just trying to keep the city safe. I think they just like giving people tickets. People should just learn to follow the rules. People make mistakes sometimes. The cops don't always give people tickets. They usually do. I think it makes them happy. Not all police officers are mean, though. We could go on arguing about this all day. Then maybe it would just be best to agree with me. I just believe police officers could be nicer. That's true. The whole world should be a little nicer. Why is there a sticker over your webcam lens? I don't trust the computer company. Do you think it's spying on you? There have been reports of people being spied through webcams. That's actually pretty creepy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Is it always the company that is accused of spying? No, sometimes it's malware you get from emails. That's even scarier. You never know who can be watching. Ever since I found out, I put a sticker on my webcam. It really is a good idea. I'll do it too. Besides, I think it looks pretty cute too. I forgot my house key. How are we supposed to get into the house? I hit a spare key in case this happens. Let me guess. It's under the mat? How did you know? It's the most obvious hiding place. I didn't know where else to put it. There's a lock that allows you to hide keys in it. Wow, really? That sounds like a good invention. My teacher has one for his room key. Of course, the best solution would be not to forget the key. Definitely. Be more careful next time. I heard that there was a stabbing the other day. What? Where? In a public bus. That's scary. Yes, it is. I'm glad I don't take the bus often. What time did it happen? It happened in the evening. People should avoid going out late at night. Yes, that's when the most crime takes place. Either way, I think I'll be driving home after evening classes. It does feel a lot safer than riding the bus. Definitely, I can drive you home too. I got my email hacked the other day. That's terrible. How did that happen? I opened an account on a website and used the same password. That wasn't very wise. I know it won't happen again. I'm always afraid to forget all my passwords, though. You should make them very similar to each other. I guess that would be a good solution. It's hard to have any privacy in today's world. That's for sure. We have to protect it. I'll make sure this never happens again. I hope you get your email fixed. Did you hear about the dog ban? No. What dog are they banning? The city wants to ban pit bulls. What? Why do they want to do that? They say pit bulls are dangerous. Pit bulls are only trained to be that way. How should they fix the attack problem then? I think there should be a background check for dog adoption. How would they fix anything? If good people adopt them, the dogs will be good. Many still feel like they're in danger around pit bulls. I feel more endangered being around people than pit bulls. You can't take pool toys into the ocean. Why not? I want to drift in the water. They're dangerous. How is it dangerous just to float there? The waves could flip you over. I know how to swim. If the tide is strong, it could pull you out to sea. That sounds scary. It is. It'll be difficult to pull you back. I understand. I'll leave the pool toys in my car. That's a good idea. Thank you for the explanation. Why are you bringing a map? I don't want to get lost on our hike. We won't. I have a GPS. 
There's not always signal in the mountains. Maps aren't accurate as GPS. We don't always have to use the map. Why bring it then? Like I said, it's just a safety tool. I think it's just more of weight in our backpack. Better safe than sorry. I can't argue with that. Let's go in. Lead the way. I want to buy myself a taser. Why would you want something like that? I live alone, so I want to feel safer. Aren't tasers dangerous? Only for the person I shock. I'm afraid of being electrocuted. They don't electrocute you. They just shock you. I hate the fact that the world is so dangerous. It may not be, but I won't take any chances. I've also seen self-defense keychains. Those are good to have too. Just as long as you know how to use them. Take off your shoes and walk in the sand. I'd rather not. I bought swim shoes. That's no fun. They're fine, and I can still get them wet. Why are you so paranoid? I read that you can get bad cuts on the beach. How can you get sand cut? It's not the sand. It's what people leave in it. You mean like trash? Yes, and even broken bottles. I guess swim shoes are a good idea. Yes, you never know what could hurt you. That child just darted across the street. His mother should have been holding his hand. Parents should be more attentive of their children. Have you seen those child leashes? I always thought they were silly. Me too, but I can see why parents use them. I guess they are a good idea, aren't they? They definitely do the job and keep your kids safe. In the end, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how silly they look, after all. Better to be safe than sorry. You can say that again. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work. No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops! I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window. No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. 
I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus, too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course. It only comes once a year. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow, don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. 
Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish, and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge. And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawnmower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. I repainted my house, so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes, I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort, too. Apartments are so expensive these days. Only rich people can afford to live in them. My landlord raised the rent, so I'm moving out. Where will you live? I don't know yet. I have to search for an apartment. Are you going to live alone? Well, I've never had a roommate before. 
I would find one if I were you. It would be helpful in paying the rent. Post an ad on Craigslist and see who replies. If a psycho becomes my roommate, I'll blame you. If that happens, I'll stay far away from your apartment. Why is the guy behind me honking? You are going too slow. I am driving at the speed limit. Everyone drives fast in this town. No one follows the rule? You're the only one. I should yell at him. No, he'll just be even more mad. Good, he deserves to be mad. You don't know if he's dangerous. I'll just go even slower. That would really annoy him. Why are you driving so fast? I have to be at work on time. Do you really have to? Yes, I will be fired if I'm late. I don't want to die. Relax, I am a good driver. A good driver doesn't drive extremely fast. We haven't even hit anything yet. I bet you're going to get a ticket. How much do you want to bet? If I win, you're never driving me. If I win, you have to shut up whenever I drive. How long have you had your license? Only two days. I don't feel safe. Why not? I passed the test. Did you get a perfect score? No, but a lot of people don't. What was your percentage? 75%, which is totally fine. Can you just drop me off here? Are you serious? Yes, I don't want to get hurt. Fine, don't ever ask me again for a ride. Driving is so bad for the environment. We should carpool. That is a smart idea. Where do you live? I live on Broadway in Los Angeles. Perfect. I live two streets down. I can drive on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll drive for the rest of the week then. Can we start tomorrow? Sure. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. What color is your car? You can't miss it. It's green. Do you like my new car? Yeah, but it's a little plain. What should I do to make it less plain? Decorate it. That's what I did. I know. I'll put stuffed animals in the back. You can also get a steering wheel cover. I might as well get matching seat covers, too. I'll give you my sister's seat and steering wheel covers. Are they new? Yeah, she never used them. Thanks. How much do you want for them? Consider the covers your birthday present. You, in the green shirt. Are you talking to me? You're the only one here in a green shirt. What do you want? I saw you scratch my car with a key. You have no proof. You do know there are video cameras, right? I don't know what you're talking about. If you admit it now, I won't press charges. Fine. I scratched your car. Why did you do it? You parked too close to my car. You have not driven in a month. I just like staying home these days. What is really going on? Honestly, I'm scared of getting into an accident. You weren't scared two months ago. My best friend got into a car accident. Accidents do happen, but not if you're careful. I'm just scared. You shouldn't be. If it happened to my friend, it can happen to me. So you're just going to never drive? I'll drive when I'm ready. Where do you want to go? How about Santa Anita Mall? I don't know how to drive there. Do you have a map? Yes, but I don't know how to read it. Try calling someone for directions. I lost my phone yesterday. You are so unlucky. Do you want to go anywhere else? Yeah, surprise me. Okay, I know this really fun place. Great, I can't wait. Dad, I don't have my own car. Your mom and I talked to you about this. I wasn't paying attention. We don't have enough money for a new car. Can't we just take some loans? You can just use the old car. It's so ugly, though. Money doesn't grow on trees. Everyone at school has a new car. Get a job and buy one yourself. But no one wants to hire me. Then you're going to have to do drive an old car. 
My license plate number came in today. Do you like it? It's just some random numbers and letters. You should customize it. I can do that? Yeah, I did. What does yours say? Mine says Cali 95. Why did you choose that? I love California and I was born in 1995. That is pretty clever. Thanks. You could do something similar. Are you sure you want to go to Seattle? Yes, I am sure. It's an eight hour drive. I know. Let's go. If you say so. I'll drive for the first four hours. I'll drive for the last four hours. Did you bring food? I brought sandwiches and bottles of water. Good. I brought the napkins. Let's get gas first. Yes, we need a lot of it. My car was stolen. I am so sorry to hear that. Did you happen to see anything suspicious yesterday? Well, I did see a man looking at your car. What time did you see this man? I saw him at about 2 p.m. I wasn't home at that time. Then the man I saw could be the criminal. What did he look like? I couldn't really see his face. I'll never find the criminal. I hope you have a good insurance plan. Hi, is there a specific car you're looking for? I'm looking for a convertible. We have a wide selection right here. I don't see what I want here. Really? We have over 100 convertibles. I'm interested in a purple convertible. That's a rare color in any car dealer. I guess I have to go elsewhere. Don't go. We have colors close to purple. Like what exactly? We have blue cars. Blue is blue. Purple is purple. Goodbye. Is your seat belt on? Of course it is. I can tell you're lying. Fine. The truth is, I never put my seatbelt on. Why not? That's so dangerous. It feels so uncomfortable. Say that after you get into a car accident. I'm never going to get into an accident. There are other reasons you should put on your seatbelt. And that is? You're going to get a ticket. Really? Fine. I'll put my seatbelt on. Are you nervous for your driving test? Yeah, I don't want to fail. You won't. You have been practicing a lot. There's one thing I was never good at. What is that one thing? Right turns. What's wrong with your right turns? They're too wide. We can practice right now. You would do that for me? Of course. I want you to pass. All right. Let's do this. The traffic in this lane is terrible. Why do you think that is? Probably some car accident. You should switch to another lane. Okay, I'll switch to the right lane. Wait, there's a car coming. That was scary. I almost hit that car. How could you not see that? I didn't look in the rearview mirror. You are such a bad driver. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I think it's only you who makes such mistakes. Make a right turn here. Watch out. There's a person walking. I see him. He walks so slowly. Is he doing this on purpose? Maybe we should tell him to speed up. That's kind of mean. Then we'll wait. I know. I can honk at him. That is even worse than talking to him. Forget it. I'm driving straight ahead. You're more impatient than I thought. You got a new car? How did you know? I saw it in your driveway. What do you think of it? It's really fancy. Yeah, it was expensive. How much was it? It was over a hundred thousand dollars. That's four times as much as my car. It's a brand name car. You must be pretty rich then. No, I just really like fancy cars. Hey, can I get a ride? I don't know you very well. We're in the same math class. I know, but we're just classmates. Please, my house is far away and it's hot. You can take the bus. The bus doesn't come for another hour. Surely you can wait. No, I can't. I have to be home soon. I'll drive you, 
but only for a price. You name it. Buy me dinner. I cleaned my car yesterday. It's not clean anymore. What happened? Take a look. Oh no, there's bird poop. That's unfortunate, since you just washed it. Can you wash my car? I'll wash it for $15. This can be your birthday gift to me. It's a deal. Have fun washing the poop off. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. Excuse me, can you please help me? What's the problem? My car stopped in the middle of the road. Did you run out of gas? Yes, I think I did. There is no gas station within walking distance. May I please borrow your phone? Are you planning to call a tow service? Yes, I think it's all I can do. If you'd like, I'll drive you to the station. Thank you so much. It's no problem. Let's get going. I hate driving in this city. Why do you hate it? There's traffic everywhere you go. I know that can be stressful. How do you handle it? It's just about finding two things. And what is that? First, you need to find a lot of patience. What's the second thing? Then, you need to find a lot of shortcuts. Can you show me some of these shortcuts? Sure, I'll show you around tomorrow. Thank you so much. I was about to go crazy. I think my car needs an oil change. Why don't you go buy the oil and do it yourself? I am not familiar with the process. I can teach you to do it, if you'd like. I'd be grateful if you did. How about next week? That is too long from now. Can you do it sometime this week? I have too much work to do it this week. Then maybe you should take it to the mechanic. Where can I find one nearby? Look it up in the yellow pages or even online. 